中環列車即將到達，請先讓車上乘客落車。請南中環列車即將到達，請先讓車上乘客下車。The train to Central is arriving. Please set passengers at this stop. Last time on Everlasting Shenzhou, Hong Kong millionaire Milton Cheng sent out a masked mercenary named Kurokage to steal the Everlasting Shenzhou from Rao and Ha, but the help of a mysterious talisman had disabled the divine protection of the eight immortals. Now, Rao is on a mission to retrieve his Everlasting Shenzhou in Hong Kong, but he will not be alone. Feng Huajian and Cat Hellshire. Who holds her own everlasting Shenzhou are accompanying him to the exotic metropolis of the Fragrant Harbor. It is January 1st, 2020, 1:05 p.m., Hong Kong, China. A high-speed train arrives at West Kowloon train station, where Rao, Cat, and Feng Hua. Are boarding in from Guilin. As the train stops, the trio woke up from their naps and exited the train. As they walk outside of the station, the trio are welcomed by the bustling citizens walking by them, as well as the imposing high-rise buildings and the giant signs of Hong Kong. <laughs> Ladies. Welcome to Hong Kong. Wow! Look at all those buildings and the pretty signs. Amazing! Hong Kong is so huge. There's a hotel nearby where we can stay at. Follow me. Cats and Feng Hua followed Rao as they all walked through the bustling citizens of Hong Kong. As they arrive and checked in at the Regal Sky Hotel. Their room is located at the highest floor of the hotel, and immediately made themselves at home. At around 3 p.m., Cat went to take a shower, as Rao sat at the balcony, overlooking the Hong Kong skyline. Feng Hua floats in the air near Rao as she observes the sky. The sky looks a bit too cloudy, Rao Xiangsheng. Would you like me to change it? It does look a bit bleak out. Make it sunny. With pleasure. There, now it's sunny out. And the sky is blue. Beautiful. Do you think that masked man is in Hong Kong? Oh, I hope so. We haven't properly finished our fight. But I know that somewhere in the city, Milton Chang is drinking my wine. We need to find him before he mishandles the everlasting Shenju. Hopefully, the reserves back in Guilin will last enough to treat any sick villagers before it's too late. Rao Xiangsheng, Cat showed me something interesting while you were contacting the Eight Immortals. What did she show you? A dance audition for a Lunar New Year dance concert inviting female dancers. Milton Cheng is hosting the concert. A dance audition. Oh yeah, that shower felt amazing. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous out. Cat, what is this about a dance audition? Dance audition. Oh yeah,、uh, Milton Cheng posted an audition notice for a dance concert on his IG page. Show it to me.、Uh, okay,、uh, let me get my phone. The audition post is right here. Here you go, Rao. Calling all female classical Chinese dancers of China. We invite you to audition for a dance concert extravaganza like no other in celebration of the Chinese New Year, hosted by millionaire extraordinaire slash future billionaire extraordinaire Milton Chang. Come to the Hong Kong Cultural Center in Jim Sa Choi on January 4th. Sign in at 10 a.m. Audition starts at 12 p.m. Looks like he's producing it. 
Milton Chang Productions. Well, he must be showing up at the auditions. If he's going to appear, you can totally approach him there and get him to give you your wine back. As much as approaching him directly seems to be the way to go, we are in his turf now. We have to be careful and smart. I'm interested in auditioning, Rao Xianxin. If I get close to him through the concert, I can get the everlasting Shenzhou for you. <laughs> Tell me, Feng Hua, besides helping me, is the dance concert your reason why you want to come to Hong Kong? <laughs> Just one of the reasons, Rao Xianxin. But I'm honest when I say that I owe my life to you and the everlasting Shenzhou. Helping you is my main priority. Oh, it's a great opportunity for you, Feng Hua. Milton has never seen you before, so I don't think he'll suspect you. If you want to audition, go for it. Thank you, Rao Xianxin. Hmm. Something's going on outside. Hmm. A parade of dancing Chinese lions and dragons on the streets. Oh yeah, today's January 1st. This must be the Lion and Dragon Dance Festival. That is so cool! There's so many of them! I'm gonna go downstairs and get some good pics. You guys wanna join me? I'll be right ahead of you, Cat. <gasps> Feng Hua! To Cat's shock, Feng Hua jumps over the balcony. Cat ran after her and looked down to see Feng Hua gracefully glide down like a majestic bird to the ground. Oh, shit. She landed safely. Oh, I almost forgot she could fly. <laughs> Let's head downstairs and enjoy the parade, shall we? Cat and Rao walked out of the hotel and into the streets as they could see a closer look at the parade of colorful lions and dragons passing by them as they entertained the crowd. Feng Hua, who was looking on at the parade, discovers Cat and Rao. Cat! Rao Xiangsheng! Over here! These lions and dragons are beautiful! They do look awesome! Look at the lions over there! It looks like they're eating lettuce in front of those stores! Yes, the store owners would attach lettuce along with a red envelope containing money for the lion's teeth. But they will spit out the lettuce and keep the money. It gives the business good luck. This is called choi chan. It means picking the greens. Ah, oh, pretty cool! Hey, look over there! A black lion is dancing on top of those poles! Those poles are called jong. Lion dancers would jump on top of them and perform their dance to show off their agility. Ooh, look over there! There's a red dragon coming! The trio could see a huge banner that reads, Dancing Fist Kung Fu School, as an energetic Chinese man leads a dragon dance before jumping on top of one of the poles. Mo Si Wei Long! Jerna Mo Zhao! One of the man's dragon dance partners hands him a red lion head and begins battling the black lion. Looks like we have an impromptu lion dance battle going on. Oh wow, this is just like a dance off. The guy holding the red lion head is so agile. The black lion jumped off. Looks like the red line now takes over. The energetic dancer underneath the red lion's head danced and entertained the crowd in victory. The dancer took off the lion head and raised his fist in the air as the crowd cheered for him. Hello everyone! I'm Lai Gen Wu. Thank you all for coming on this beautiful day. If you like what you see, we are offering classes in dragon and lion dancing at the Dancing Fist Kung Fu School in Wan Chai. 
Visit our website on our banner for more details. And make a reservation, huh? The Dancing Fist of Wan Chai will be waiting. <笑>多謝你們這麼多位來賓宾過來看我們<笑> Happy New Year! Hmm, Ligen Wu. Wait a minute! Milton posted a pic of him on his IG post, along with the audition post. Yeah, that's the same guy! He's directing and choreographing the concert. He has such impressive agility. He'll be happy to take a lesson from him. We should definitely go take a class. Looks like a great opportunity to give him a good first impression before the audition. What do you think, Feng Hua? It's a good opportunity. Let's do it. All right. I'll set us up for tomorrow. Dancing Fist of Wan Chai. Hmm. Quite a coincidence that the man who's directing this concert appears before us. <sighs> Tired, Feng Hua? Yes. I'm starting to get really sleepy. <laughs> I think it's time for all of us to rest properly since we didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head to bed too. The nap on the train wasn't enough. Then we should all get some rest before we head to Wan Chai tomorrow. As night fell and the trio slept in their hotel room, Kat had another dream of Rao and Feng Hua on stage. Only this time, Rao and Feng Hua are standing on the Zhang poles, each carrying a sword, both engaged in an intense sword battle. You have great balance. Your parents have taught you well. Don't speak of my parents, you swine! Let's make things more interesting, shall we? Rao takes a drink of his everlasting Shenzhou and spits it towards the ground, creating wild flames. The flames manifested into shapes of fire dragons and fire lions. I won't be scared by your lions and dragons! I'll slay them all! Will you? Let's find out. Kat stood up from her chair as Rao commands the flaming lions and dragons to charge towards Feng Hua. Feng Hua, watch out! Watch out! <gasps> Feng Hua, watch out! Uh, that's what I'm Cat, are you okay? Oh, oh phew. Just a dream. It was it was just a dream, Feng Hua. I, I'm so sorry for waking you. Uh, what's going on? Everything okay? I'm fine, Rao. Uh, just had a wild dream. Sorry to wake you guys up. And I was having a good dream, too. Uh. Cat sees Feng Hua and Rao return to sleeping in their beds before grabbing her bag to take out her notebook to write what she had just witnessed in her dream. The following morning, January 2nd, 2020, 11 a.m. It was a warm, fine day, as Rao, Kat, and Feng Hua ride the ferry from Xinza Choi Pier across the Sea of Victoria Harbor and arrive at the Wan Chai Pier the trio took a bus that takes them to King's Road, where the Dancing Fist Kung Fu School is located. Well, here it is. Dancing Fist Kung Fu School. This is where Ligon Wu is. You two go on ahead and take the class. You're not joining us? In Chinese tradition, 
It's either two men or two women dancing together in the lion dance. This class will serve better for the both of you. What are you gonna do then? I'll be heading to Manmo Temple. Manmo Temple? It's a Taoist temple, the oldest in Hong Kong. I'll be heading there to pray so that you two can have a great class. I'll meet the both of you afterwards. Oh, alright. Well, happy praying! May the gods be with you, Rao Sensheng. As Rao walks off, the ladies enter the school where it is filled with students, practicing their stances and rehearsing their dragon dance and lion dance routines. Approaching the ladies is the dancing fist of Wan Chai, Lai Gin Wu. Hey, welcome! Hey, guys, you have to see me. I'm called Lai Gin Wu. You can hear my name. You can hear me. You can hear the first name. Wan Chai Zi Mou Quan. You can hear it. I'm the head of Mou Quan Kung Fu. You can call me my master. My name is Lai Gin Wu. Dancing Fist of Wan Chai and the head instructor of the Dancing Fist Kung Fu School. You two must be my appointment. Uh, yeah. We're here for the lion dance class. Oh, you're American? Yeah, I'm from New York. I'm on vacation. Hmm. I'm happy you're spending your vacation time taking a lion dance class. We don't often have women come by the school to learn lion dancing, but that's great. What are your names? I'm Kat. My name is Fenghua. Nice to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you too. Hmm, Fenghua. Windflower. Wait, your name is so beautiful. Are you from Hong Kong? Hmm? You don't speak Cantonese? No, I'm not from here. I'm from Guilin. Guilin? <laughs> from the mainland, huh? Is English okay? Yes, English is okay. All right! Looks like English will work for everyone, huh? We saw your performance at the parade yesterday. You were very impressive. I, uh, thank you. Have you two danced before? I have. I majored in dance at NYU. Oh, very nice. And you, Feng Hua? My mother taught me classical Chinese dance. I've studied it since I was young. A classical Chinese dancer? Well, you should audition for the Lunar New Year dance concert. The concert will display classical Chinese dance. I'm directing it. I noticed. I'm already interested in auditioning. As you should. So, why do you two want to learn lion dancing? Oh, uh, well, I... I find it all pretty fascinating. I would love to get a chance to learn. I love to learn different dances. I think this is a good opportunity. Okay. But let me tell you, lion dancing isn't easy. I'll test the both of you to see if you have what it takes. I'll give both of you time to warm up and change. I'll be right back. Oh, all right. Thank you. Feng Hua, did you see the way he was looking at you? Windflower. <laughs> I noticed. A few minutes later, Ligon takes Kat and Feng Hua through various physical challenges to test them to see if they can perform lion dancing. Okay, these are some training exercises for lion dancers. We will start with box jumps. This will test your jumping abilities. Well, I'm up for it. Me too. I love jumping. Okay, let's do 40 jumps. On my whistle, we begin. Ready? <laughs> wow. These two are not only jumping quick, they are in good synchronization. Incredible! You two finish at the same time. 
You're really athletic, Cat. <sighs> Same to you. <sighs> All right. The next exercise is how strong you are holding the lion head. The box you are jumping on will be the lion head, which weighs about 10 pounds. You two will hold the box for one minute. Is that clear? Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ready? <sighs> Wow, it's getting heavier. <laughs> I'm feeling the burn in my arms. All right, almost time. <sighs> oh, my arms. <sighs> Very good. Now, the next exercise is the horse stance. I like to see how good your stance is. Posture is very important in lion dancing. I'm familiar with the horse stance. Rao Xiangsheng taught me how to do it. Horse stance? Is that the same stance Jackie Chan did in that scene from Drunken Master? You watch Drunken Master? <laughs> One of my favorite movies. Yes. Knees bent with arms outstretched. But no incense up your... Ah, uh, you know what? Now, in the horse stance, you two will pretend to hold the lion head while I place these teacups on top of your knees. Just like in Drunken Master, you can't fall or let the cups fall off while in your horse stance. And you will hold that stance until I say you're done. Is that clear? Yes! All right, get in the horse stance. Okay. Placing the cups onto your knees and pouring water on it. Okay, now hold. Uh, uh, <laughs> I see you're shaking, cat. I, I don't know if I can hold this stance much longer. Uh, you're okay, cat? Here are your teacups, Ligon. Let me help you, Cat. Oh, thanks, Fungua. I'm alright. I'm used to falling on my ass. I'm just not used to having teacups on my knees. <laughs> I like that you both care about each other. Teamwork is key in lion dancing. I can determine that Fenghua can hold the lion head, while Cat can be the tail. I have no problem holding the lion head. And I can totally be the tail. It's agreed. We'll set both of you with the lion right away. For the next couple of hours, Ligon continued his lessons as Cat and Feng Hua dance underneath the Chinese lion given to them as the students of the school watch. All right, jump, Feng Hua. Good. Cat, lift her up higher. Raise the lion head off, Feng Hua. A bit more. Stay in position. Good! Nice work! Woo! Man, that was so much fun! You are light as a feather, Feng Hua. You're pretty strong, Cat. That'll be it for the class. If you want to continue learning, or to even work out, come by the school. Oh, th thank you, Ligon. I have a question. Yes, Feng Hua? What is it? Is Milton Chang going to appear at the audition? Hmm. He should be. He's financing the entire concert. Why? I just wanted to be sure. I have a question of my own for you, Feng Hua. Yes? You practice Kung Fu? Yes, when I get the opportunity. Have you ever done any sparring? Yes, with Rao Xiansheng. He taught me how to defend myself. I've also sparred with some of the men in Guilin, but I always end up crushing them. Besides Rao Xiansheng, I haven't found a man who can keep up with me in sparring. <laughs> Do you think I can keep up with you? Hmm. You're asking me to spar with you. If you don't mind, Windflower. Well, I accept, Dancing Fist. Great! Students! Go wai si heng si dai! Chen bei hou fa san Uh, Feng Hua! <laughs> uh, are 
are you sure this is a good idea? If you end up hurting him, your chances of getting into the concert might go down. He asked for it, but I'll try not to hurt him. Let's have a good spar. Let's see if you can keep up. Wow, it's like watching a kung fu movie. Feng Hua's pretty quick, but Ligon is blocking all of Feng Hua's attacks. What's wrong? Come attack me. You're not bad. Amp up your intensity. Oh, <laughs> Feng Hua is really getting intense. Ligon isn't delivering any offense, just carrying Feng Hua's attacks. Let's see how he handles my signature attack. <laughs> you almost got me. You're able to turn Fen Shen into an attack. <laughs> you really are a windflower. Oh man, if that actually hit. <laughs> okay, I've seen enough. If this is you sparring, then it makes me curious how you are in a real fight. You're holding back. Why? If I didn't, you probably wouldn't be able to make it to the audition. It was a pleasure, Feng Hua. Thank you. If it was completely up to me, you'd be in the concert. Hmm? You're the director, aren't you? Don't you make that decision? Yeah, but Milton also has a say on who's in. It's his concert that he's financing after all. Is that so? Okay, so we'll see you when we see you, Ligon. Sure. I'll see you at the audition, Fenghua. Perhaps we'll spar again. I think we will. Good. The Dancing Fist of Wan Chai will look forward to it. Looks like you gotta impress Milton to get into the concert. Ligon really likes you, though. Yes. Perhaps next time he and I spar, I'll use my heaven hip cannon on him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, didn't Rao say he was gonna be here when we are done? Where do you think he is? Here I am. Ah, damn it, Rao! Where the hell did you come from? Did you two have a fun class? It was a fun class, Rao Xiansheng. Kat and I got to dance in the lion costume and everything. I even sparred with Lai Gun Wu. Really? Can the Dancing Fist really fight? Well, he blocked and dodged all of my attacks. He didn't fight back. Interesting. Why would he want to spar with you anyway? Maybe curiosity? He asked me if I practiced Kung Fu and then asked if I can spar with him. So we sparred. Ligon mentioned that Milton Chang will also be at the audition, so that's a sure bet. Excellent. We'll continue with what we planned then. Ah, whoa! What the hell was that? The huge explosion was nearby Victoria Peak, where a huge bolt of lightning struck the home of a billionaire named Curtis Lowe. The incident became headline news on the following day. According to reports, the last person to witness Curtis was his maid, who last saw him holding a package and entering his room. The police and firefighters tried to find any remains of Curtis Lowe, but found no trace of him. January 4th, 2020, 9.30 a.m., Regal Sky Hotel. The strange incident continued to make headline news on the day of the Lunar New Year dance concert audition. Rao reads the newspaper on the balcony, while Feng Hua prepares for the audition. With her hair tied in a bun and dressed in black, Kat observed the news of Curtis Lowe's death on her phone. It was reported by Curtis Lowe's maid. The maid stated that Curtis Lowe was last seen holding a package and entered his room. After the explosion, Curtis Lowe's remains were never found? 
as if he was vaporized from the face of the earth? Rao, you don't think... That lightning we witnessed near the Kung Fu school. That was the type of lightning that can happen when someone tries to steal the everlasting Shenzhou. I'm ready to go. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we're off, Rao. Fang Hua, I have no doubt that you'll do great at the audition. Have fun out there. As I can't be seen with you in person, I will be with you in spirit. This is your opportunity to show Hong Kong who Feng Hua Jian is. Thank you, Rao Sheng. I'll do my best. At 10.05 a.m., Cat and Feng Hua head towards the Hong Kong Cultural Center. Inside, they could see a huge group of women who are also auditioning. Wow. A lot of women are here for the audition. <sighs> Feng Hua, are you alright? I'm okay. Just never auditioned in this environment before. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. I put on a brave face for Rao Sensheng, but I didn't want to disappoint him. Yeah, I get nervous too whenever I audition for something. That's pretty normal. Do you need a drink of Shinjo? Just a little. <sighs> Better? Better. I needed that. Thank you, Cat. Sure. Oh, uh, there's the sign in station. Uh, let's get you signed in. Feng Hua signed up and was assigned a number and a group. Number 53, Group 5. Warming up in the waiting room with Cat, Feng Hua began doing various stretches. Cat was amazed at Feng Hua's flexibility, witnessing Feng Hua pulling her back leg, which touched her head and remained still on one leg. How in God's name do you stretch like that, Feng Hua? <laughs> Lots of discipline and training. This is called Zingguan, Gold Standard Crown. Well, when it comes to classical Chinese dance, you are the gold standard as far as I'm concerned. The door that leads to the Grand Theater opens up as a group of exhausted dancers exited. After them, Ligon appeared. Group 5 is next! Please enter the stage! Group 5? That's my group? Alright. Break a leg, Feng Hua. Break a leg? Oh, that means you're wishing me luck, right? Oh, yeah. I don't mean to literally break a leg. I... Just go out there and have fun. I will have fun. Thank you, Cat. Feng Hua walks with nine other dancers in her group. As they enter the Grand Theater stage, Ligon notices Feng Hua, acknowledging her with a huge smile on his face. All right, everyone. Welcome, and thank you very much for auditioning. I'm Ligan Wu. Most of you know me as the Dancing Fist of Wan Chai. Most of you know me as a Lion Dance Champion. But for this Lunar New Year concert, I will be both director and choreographer. This production is purely classical Chinese dance. I will show the choreography, and you will perform by that choreography. Any questions? Cool. Oh, and don't worry about Milton and his friends out in the seats. They're here to watch. Feng Hua spots Milton Cheng, sitting between two burly men out in the empty seats, more focused on his phone than on the dancers on stage. That's him. Alright everyone, let's begin! Ligon demonstrated the choreography. Some of the dancers had issues following Ligon's routine, but Feng Hua had no issues, finishing the choreography given. Feng Hua felt pleased, but she could see that Milton was still paying more attention to his phone. <laughs> Dancers are auditioning hard for him, and he's not even paying attention. How rude. Alright! Now next up, I want to see Fan Shen. I'll demonstrate this move. 
I want to see each of you travel from stage right to stage left. Each dancer danced Fan Chen. Some had no problem and some had struggled with the move. Feng Hua was up next. All right, number 53. Let's see your Fan Chen dance. Before beginning her dance, Feng Hua looked out for Milton Chang, who was still goofing off on his phone with his two bodyguards. Offended, but determined to stand out, Feng Hua began spinning her arms like a blurring windmill. Unlike the other dancers, however, Feng Hua's dance had more speed to where wind began to pick up within the theater. This finally caught the attention of Milton, who looked out on stage in time to see Feng Hua levitating high in the air to the surprise of Ligon and the other auditioners. Feng Hua descended down to the floor as the wind began to fade. Whoa! Come over here! Uh, all right! Ladies, you all danced wonderfully today. Thank you very much for coming to audition. If I want you, you will be contacted. Thank you. Yes. You can all leave now. Thank you very much for auditioning, everyone. Legging glanced at Feng Hua with a bit of concern before walking toward Milton to speak with him. Feng Hua walked out as the auditioner stared at her, worried about what she had done. <coughs> Feng Hua arrived at the waiting room, walking towards Kat. Feng Hua, uh, how did it go? I think I overdid it. Why? What happened? Feng Hua Jian. Feng Hua quickly turned round and sees Milton Chang along with his two bodyguards walking towards her. Kat and Feng Hua could see that Milton is holding a wine gourd, wrapped and concealed in dark fabric. Feng Hua Jian, I saw what you did on stage and what you did was the most amazing sight I have ever seen. Oh, I'm happy that you're impressed. Oh, you did more than just impress me. I spoke with Wu and we agreed that you are in. I want you to join my Lunar New Year dance concert. I wanted to tell you personally before you left the building. Can you make it to rehearsal this Monday? Uh, I'm honored. And yes, I can make it. Great. Your phone number is the best way to contact you, right? Uh, actually, the number she provided is my number. Feng Hua doesn't own a cell phone. But it is the best way if you want to contact her. And you are? A friend of Feng Hua. Splendid. If you don't mind me asking, what is that you're holding in your hand? Oh, uh, just a drink to keep me healthy. Flu is going around, so it's better to keep my healthy beverage around. Anyway, I have to go. Feng Hua Jian, I'll see you at rehearsal. Milton and his bodyguards walk away, as Kat and Feng Hua look on with suspicion. Rao's quest on retrieving his everlasting Shenzhou took a new turn as Curtis Lowe's death created more questions. Was it a freak accident? Was it really the work of his everlasting Shenzhou that caused Curtis Lowe's death? Can Feng Hua get close enough to Milton to get answers from him? Tune in next time on Everlasting Shenzhou.